guys, it's NFL boy Brandon. I'm back with another video. Um, <clears throat> this one <clears throat> kind of a long overdue. I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but it's the NFL weekly review. Um, I kind of forgot about it, to be honest with you guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do week... I think the last week that I did, yeah, was week 9. So I'm going to do week 10 and week 11 and just combine them together. Um, just combine them together. Um, and then as soon as Monday Night Football goes off, uh, tomorrow or later on tonight because it's one fifty in the morning on Monday, uh, whenever Monday, football go, Monday Night Football goes off, I'm going to already record week 12 and have it ready to go for you guys. So that way I do not forget anymore. I'm so sorry about that to everyone that actually likes to watch these. So sorry about that. Um, I will try not to forget anymore. Um, anyways, so week 10, we'll do what we always been doing. We'll start from Thursday, work our way down to Monday. Um, so the Thursday night game was Carolina and uh Pittsburgh then the one o'clock games on Sunday was new, uh my New England Patriots versus Tennessee Detroit Chicago New Orleans the Bengals Atlanta Cleveland Jacksonville Indianapolis Arizona Kansas City Buffalo New York Giant or New York Jets I mean Washington Tampa Bay Los Angeles Chargers, Oakland Raiders, Miami, uh, and Green Bay, Seattle, and Los Angeles Rams. And then the Sunday night game was Dallas and Philadelphia. And the Monday night game was the uh, New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. Um, so the score to that game was 21 to 52. Like, that was a beat down. I was not expecting. Like, I knew Pittsburgh was going to win it. I just was not expecting them to win it by that much. It was a beat down. Let's see what Ben Roethlisberger's stats was in that game. Damn, he had, he was 23 for 25, or 22 for 25. Um, he was, he had 328 yards, five touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Um, so yeah, he actually did really well in that game. And this game, uh, it was 10 to 34. Um, that was a wild game. We, New England should not have gotten beat down like that. Um, like I was expecting us to win, but I knew Tennessee would probably give us a fight. Um, but that was not at all. Tennessee beat the crap out of us. And I think why is because it's because, um, uh, hang on guys, I'm going to grab my drink. All right. Anyways, um, every, every time, time we go to throw the ball. He would get sad. He would get sad. And um, he, he would get sad. Um, or if he threw it to his wide receiver, he would miss the catch. Or, you know, our defense was trash that day and everything. So, yeah, we ended up losing that. Um, and then... It was Detroit and um, Chicago, thirty-four to twenty-two. Um, that game was wild. Um, well, not really. Detroit's not looking that that good. I think in the next next year or two, they'll start looking better because um, because where they got Matt Patricia as their um, head coach now. Um, but the Bears look really, really good. The Bears are eight and three. So yeah, the Bears look really, really good. 
Um, New Orleans and the Bengals, 51 to 14. I mean, no one can be really surprised about this. New Orleans is on a hot streak right now, so that doesn't really surprise me. Sorry, I had to put my drink over there. Anyways, that doesn't really surprise me that they beat the shit out of the um um uh the Bengals like that. The Bengals do not look good. They lost, I believe they lost last week. Yeah, they lost last week and they just lost this week. They lost yesterday, um, Sunday to the Cleveland Browns, but we'll get to all that. Um anyways, speaking of the Browns, here they are. Atlanta and Cleveland, sixteen to twenty-eight. Um what can I say, but Cleveland's looking good right now. They are on a streak. I think they're on a two-game winning streak. Yeah, two-game winning streak. Yep. Um, But they're looking really good right now. Um, A lot better than they did last season. They, you know, 0-16, and, and now you're 4-6-1. and one. Yeah, that's pretty damn good to be, to be bouncing back from an 0-16 from last season. Anyway, speaking of a hot team, uh the Jaguars and a coach 25 to 29. Uh the coach are on a winning streak right now. They have won the last 5 straight. Um they're one game out from the last wild card spot. All they need is for Baltimore to lose next week and then win and they'll be in the playoffs. Um so yeah, they're they're looking really really good. <clears throat> um, the hell, uh, here we are, Arizona and Kansas City, fourteen to twenty six. Um, what can I say except for uh, Kansas City is is good. They have been good all season. Um. There's nothing really to say outside of that. Uh, Arizona does not look good, and I did not expect Arizona to stay in the game like that. Um, anyways, 41 to 10. Um, 41 to 10. Uh, New York Jets do not look good at all. Um, Buffalo is actually starting to catch their stride. They're 4 and 7. Um, but yeah, Washington 16 to three. I mean, we can't really be surprised there. Um, they, um, they got, they was playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers aren't really that good, um, in the first place. Uh, so yeah, Tampa Bay is not that good in the first place. Tampa Bay is... Four and seven, so they're actually not that bad. Um, anyways, moving on to the next one. The Chargers and the Raiders at twenty to six. Um again, what else can you say about this? But the Raiders look awful right now. Uh, they're definitely going to have one of the top uh, seeds in uh, this year's draft. Um, and the, um, the Chargers look really, really good. Um, Miami and Green Bay, 12 to 31. Um... Again, Miami doesn't look that good. The start of the season, they looked really good. I thought they, you know, the way that they were starting off this season, I thought maybe they had a chance to make the playoffs. But no, not the case at all. Um, Yeah, they have just went downhill. And that's actually surprising that they got beat down like that because 
the Packers are even worse than them. The Packers are four sits in one. They just lost tonight on Sunday Night Football. Um. Anyways, on to the Seahawks and the Rams, 31 to 36. Um. Again. Um. Uh, I thought the, I thought the, Seattle Seahawks was gonna. I honestly thought the Seahawks was gonna beat them this game, and they came damn well close to it. That was a good ass game. That was the four o'clock game that was on TV down here where I am, and that was a that was a good ass game. That was a that was a really good game. Um, anyways, um, Dallas and the Eagles twenty seven to twenty. That was a really again. That was a really good game. Um, that was on Sunday night football. Um, that was the Sunday night football for week ten. It was a really good game. So yeah. Um, and then this one, uh, New York Giants and the San Francisco Forty ers uh, twenty seven to twenty three. Again, a, a good game. It really was. It it was a good game, um. So yeah, and then the teams on their bye week that week was Baltimore, Denver, Houston, and my and Minnesota. All right, on to week eleven. Um. Week eleven. Um. Cut off with the Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks. And then the one o'clock games was Dallas, Atlanta, um, Cincinnati, Baltimore, t- uh, Carolina, Detroit, Tennessee, Indianapolis, uh, Tampa Bay, New York Giants, Houston, Washington, Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, Oakland, Arizona, Denver, um, the Chargers, um, Philadelphia, New Orleans, uh, Minnesota, and Chicago. Yeah. Um, and then it finished up the week with arguably the best game, um, in Kansas City and the Rams. Um, anyways, starting off with this game, um, Green Bay and uh Seattle, twenty four to twenty seven. Uh, again, guys, it was, it was exactly what I was what I just said to you all. Green Bay does not look good this year. They're four sits and one. Um, Seattle sitting at sits and five right now. Uh, they got beat by a field goal late in that game, and they lost it. Um, yeah, Green Bay just does not look like Green Bay right now. Um, they are not doing well. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Their defense isn't going too good. They have a lot of people out on offense, a lot of people out on defense, so... You know, it's just tough to do anything right now uh, for them. Anyways, on to Dallas, uh, 22 to 19. Dallas won. Dallas is on a three-game winning streak right now. Uh, and they're sitting five. And, yeah, um, Atlanta, again, is a team that does not look good um, at all. So, yeah. Uh, and then it's what it's Baltimore and uh, Cincinnati twenty one to twenty four. Um, Baltimore is catching fire right now. They are in the playoffs right now. Currently, they're on the sit seat. They're fighting with the Indianapolis Colts for the last seat. Um, yeah, Cincinnati. It's not looking very good for them. They are like down there they are like not going to make the playoffs let's just say that they're not they are more than likely not going to make the playoffs um anyways carolina and detroit um what can i say but carolina has not looked good they're on a three game losing streak um, so yeah, they are not, they are not doing too well right now. Um, so yeah, um, Tennessee and the, uh, Colts, 38 to 10. Again, like I was trying to tell you all, 
my New England Patriots should not have lost to the Tennessee Titans the way that they did. You know, um, but we had too many errors going on. That's why they beat us. And I knew, I knew Indianapolis was going to beat the shit out of them because they're not all about that. Um, um, so, yeah. Um, um, again, Indianapolis is on fire right now. There's nothing really to be said about that. Um... New York Giants and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 35-38. to 38. Um, Again, that was just a <clears throat> win for New York Giants. Uh, New York Giants is not going to be making the playoffs this year. They're 3-8. and eight. Um, They're not going to be making the playoffs this year. They are not doing too well, but nothing else to be said about that. Um... Houston and Washington, 23-21. to 21. Um, To be honest with you guys, uh, sorry if I offend any Houston fans here, uh, if there is any that watches me. Um, but, yeah, I think Washington would have won this if, if Alex Smith did not get hurt. Um, he broke his tibula and fibula, I believe. And, yeah, um... He is out for season for sure. And he might even be out for uh for good. Like that might have been a career ending injury for him. Uh which is gonna really suck if that if that does happen. Um so yeah, but we shall see. Um here we are in Pittsburgh and uh Jacksonville. Uh, twenty to sixteen. Um. Again, I think this was a four o'clock game. I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. It was a one o'clock game. Um. But I seen the very end of that game. That was a wild game. Um, Jacksonville. I thought was gonna win it, but again, Pittsburgh drove down the field. Ben Roethlisberger threw a touchdown to take the lead. Uh, Jacksonville's driving back. And what do you know? Blake Bortles, a.k.a. Trash, uh, threw another incompletion on fourth down. So, yeah. Blake Bortles is probably the biggest bust. He just needs to stop it. Um, anyways... Oakland and Arizona, 23-21. to 21. Uh, What can I really say besides one of these two teams are going to have the first pick, probably the first pick in the draft. And, uh, and yeah, um, I mean, it's good for Oakland that they got, you know, their second one of the season. But neither one of these teams are looking good at all. Um, so yeah, nothing really else to be said there. This was wild, 23 to 22. Um, so yeah, um, that was a bit wild to me that, uh, Denver beat LA Chargers, but I guess really not because they are on a two game winning streak. They beat the Chargers the week 11 and then beat the beat the Pittsburgh Steelers um this just past Sunday you know yesterday um anyways New Orleans and uh Philadelphia damn it New Orleans and Philadelphia 48 to 7 um I mean, again, what can I say about it? New Orleans is on fire right now. Philadelphia, you were supposed to be the Super Bowl champions. You're not even going to make it back to the damn playoffs. Um, so that's really sad. You're not even going to make it back to the playoffs to defend. Um, to defend your castle. So, yeah. That is very interesting and sad. Anyways, um, 25 to 20, 
Minnesota and Chicago. Again, Minnesota is looking good, but when they go up against a team like the Chicago Bears, they're not going to win. Chicago is on fire right now. I'm telling you, right now, they they are, what are they on? They're on a five-game winning streak. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, let me tell back that I'm making a video real quick. Hello? I'm making a YouTube video real quick. I'll call you back in a minute. All right, all right. Bye. Anyways, um, so, yeah. And then the best game of possibly the year, and especially of that week, uh, Kansas City and the Rams, 51-54. Now, what makes this sad is, is Patrick Mahomes fumbled the ball about three or four times because uh, every time he would get sat, he fumbled the ball. Um, and then he threw two picks, and the Kansas City Chiefs still lost only by three points. Like, please explain to me how he fumbles that many times, throws two pits and everything, and they still only lose by three points. That's terribly sad by the Rams. Um, but, yeah, that that was a hell of a game. Hold on. I'll read you the stats of the quarterbacks. Um, um, Patrick Mahomes went 33 for 46, 478 yards, six touchdowns, and three interceptions. Jared Goff went 31 for 49, 413 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. So, yeah, that was a that was a hell of a game. Um, but the teams on the bye week was Buffalo, Cleveland, Miami, New England, New York Jets, and San Francisco 49ers. And the week 12 is looking like this. Uh, Thursday, there was three games because, as you know, it was Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. If you haven't already, please go watch my Thanksgiving slash Black Friday vlog uh, that I made. Um, but, yeah, on Thanksgiving Day, it was Chicago and Detroit, Washington and Dallas, and Atlanta and New Orleans. The two teams on the bye week is Kansas City and the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, and then the Sunday games was New England, New York Jets, Oakland Raiders, Baltimore, Jacksonville, Buffalo, Seattle, Carolina, Cleveland, and Cincinnati, New York Giants, and Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Tampa Bay, Arizona, Los Angeles Chargers, Miami, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, Denver, and then the Sunday night game, like I said, was Green Bay and Minnesota, and then the Monday night game later on tonight is Tennessee and Houston, and that's when I will bring week 12 to you guys. Um, and as soon as that as soon as that Monday night game goes off, I will record it and then upload it uh, Tuesday uh, Tuesday more or Tuesday evening whenever I wake up. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Um, but actually, you know what, before I go, I have one more quick question. Um, I noticed that my I noticed that my chili mukbang hit one thousand views on it. So I'm gonna be doing a celebration video for that today. Do you guys want to see a challenge video today? Do you all wanna see a mukbang video today? Do you all want to, what kind of video do you want to see? Leave suggestions down below. What kind of video you want to see today for the celebration of hitting 1K on that video? Um, yeah, and I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do whatever you guys want me to do. Um, anyways, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you all for all the support. Thank you for hit for you know, getting that video to 1K. Um, thank you all for everything that you do. I can't thank you enough. Um, I love you guys so, 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 so much. 
Uh, I hope I make amazing content for you guys. I hope I make you guys make your guys' day. I hope I be I hope I make you guys laugh. Uh, because that that's all I really care about. That that's my object of this is to make good content to make somebody's day and somebody laugh. That's it. Um. Anyways, um, yeah, so I love you guys. Just leave down suggestions down below of what you guys want to see me do for that celebration video that I'm doing later on today. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, I'll be bringing out that week 12. As soon as tonight's game goes off, I'll record it. Upload it on Tuesday morning. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. The pitchy fakers. I'm blind to them, yeah. I'm blind to them, yeah. When they're screaming out your name, everyone in